the way I operate, the others don't want to operate that way. My policy is to just come there, get them out by force, the same way they came in. Because you fight fire with fire. Welcome to this week's Say it Loud on Ghana Web TV. There's been a lot of talk about a skating park here in Accra and a lot of controversies about who owns this land gotcha. or not. Now we're here to speak to the actual owner of the land, Kwame. And Kwame is going to give us all the details about that land and whether or not there are any links to the LGBTQ plus community. Kwame, let's begin from uh, what what we know, we here. know that this land was uh, or is being used for a skating correct, park. Correct, correct, correct. Is, is that true? That is correct, that is correct. Okay, so who That's owns right. who owns who owns that land? This is an NGO run by Self Ghana, which is owned by Sandy Aribo, but I am the owner of the land. You own the land? The, and the house next to it, yes, correct. Okay, all right. Now, your tenants mm -hmm. are Self Ghana. Correct, correct, okay. correct. Now, what is really the issue with the land? Is there any issue at all? Now we don't have an issue with the land. The main issue is that we have a, a scammer, as they, as they call them, or land grabbers, who falsify documents, look for loopholes in the, in, the, in, the, in the policies and try to claim a land. So that man who happened to come to my property has been there before. He has been there two years ago. He has been there when my mother was alive. And how come you're not taking it? He would always go away, but his new excuse right now is that I have the time. I have the time. I have the time. I have been on that property for 45 years. 45? It was purchased in 1977. Okay. And you're coming to tell me right now that you have papers. This is, this is out of the blues. This is, this is it's complete insanity. Mm. But um, Mr. Mr. Kwashi was able to present himself. So um, who, who is this Mr. Kwashi you mentioned? I, he's unknown to me, to be honest. He's unknown. He's uh, but he is, is that a person family. claiming ownership to the claiming land? Ownership to but to be honest, I think he's, he has a backing, you know? Because that man doesn't have that kind of money to uh, do all that um, landscaping and construction that he's saying, reclaiming of his property, you know? Well, when, you right. say, when you say backing, what kind of backing are you talking about? To be honest, I have a feeling that he's been backed up by somebody. Ba somebody? Somebody, somebody, I, I don't know who. What? In, I don't know who. In what, what kind of circles? It's just it? financially. Financially. Yeah, because that property is located in a prime location. It's a hotspot, so uh, there are definitely many people looking to, uh, to grab it. So, uh, of course, yeah, these are just speculations. I cannot say for, for a fact that it's, it's not just him, but uh, we've seen him in the past. Mm -hmm. that's, not what, that's, not how, that's not how he came. Okay. Mm. So he, he, he comes back to the land to claim ownership? Yes, correct. Yes. Okay. Yes. Now, now your tenants are self Ghana. They mm. are the ones running the skating park. Correct, correct. Now, that's where the main issue is. Mm. There are, there are talk, two, two schools of thought. Mm. The first one, that this place is just a skating park. Mm. And then the second one is that it has links to the LGBTQ plus community. Okay. So first of all, let me just make things clear, okay? Okay. I am not here on behalf of Chef Ghana. Okay. On behalf of myself, and behalf of Ghana, first of all. Mm. You know, we all abide by Ghanaian policies right now, okay? And Mr. Akufuado, he's a very wise man, very well-spoken man. Whatever he has to say, when he comes on the television, he's a very well-spoken man. The message is passed on clearly, regardless of the content of that message. But Mr. Sakisaliki, or whatever his name is, Sakasalia. that man claims to come and represent democracy. No, that one is not democracy, it's democracy. It's a demonstration of craze. I'm a Muslim man myself. You cannot say that, oh, there are people there recruiting homosexual kids. How can you recruit a homosexual? Recruiting a homosexual. And in Islam, it is haram. It is a sin for you to blame somebody and suspect somebody without valid proof. How can you say that Sef Ghana is recruiting kids and making them homosexual? They are helping the community. They are starting something that you have not started. Something that's for the, that's for the country. And all, all of a sudden, because um, media is surrounding that, that, that property, he wants to get involved and uh, because he's a politician. And again, I'm surprised how he's a politician for the MPP, to be honest, you know. Mm. Okay, Let, let's, let's just stay on track. Mm. Let's, let's not move to um, issues about Saka because he's not here to actually res respond to all of this. But his things. statements were, were, mm. were shared. He came to my land to share it, obviously. Okay, 
All right. Now, let's go back to the land. There is a wall that's been built Correct. on the land. Correct. Are you the one building the, the wall? That wall, I broke it down myself before I even used it. So there was a wall there? There was a wall that I broke it down, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, but, but we see that there's a new wall. There's a new wall, yeah. And who, who is actually building that because wall? Because Mr. Kwa, Mr. Sam Kwashi. The person you claim yes. is trying to yes. take up your land. He's a man who just popped out of nowhere, you know, um, because I am not present in the country and uh, the, the property is leased by a non ghanaian so he saw maybe oh, an opportunity. It's a good time for me to come in and attack. And uh, there was no security that was able to um, prevent his, uh, his access. Mm -hmm. And he came with police officers. I don't know how the police officers will allow somebody to come in the property and just build things, but. Uh, we're in Ghana. Mm. Yeah, we're in Ghana. So I see. things you, can happen. You say you have not been in the country. When did you return? I returned in Ghana seven years ago. Okay. Yes. And and it's your property, much as it's been leased to Correct. An, Correct. A, a, I, I, I never inherited the property. Okay. Yeah. So it's been leased now. Correct. Is there anything you are doing in particular to ensure that the other person who is trying to take up this land mm -hmm. with a tenant there, you mm -hmm. are protecting the interest of, of your tenant. Oh yes, I'm doing everything that I can in my in, in, in my in, in my in my power. I attempted to go to the property yesterday to uh, inspect it. I went there a few days ago as well. I confronted the workers over there, but you know everybody has has their own crazy. The way I operate, the others don't want to operate that way. Mm. My policy is to just come there, get them out by force, the same way they came in. Because you fight fire with fire. He came with fire, you, you come back with fire. You don't have to go and call a lawyer or call a police officer to come and help you get it out. That's, that's, that's my land. Mm. That's my land. I have to do it in my way. That was the mistake. How, how big is the land? The, the whole property is about 0 0.50 acres. 50 acres? Yes. Is that what is being used in, as a skate and The skate park is park. approximately 0 0.3, I think. Okay, so it's just a portion of it's the land. It's just a portion, yes. Okay. Just a portion, yes. That's a huge land. Just a portion, yes. That's a huge Is, land. Yeah. Can you can you can you give me an estimate of what that land could cost today? How much it would cost? Actually, this is, this is at Shiashi. If I would tell you the price, maybe I'll invite more Kwashi boys to come <laughs> to the property. Okay. Since that's All right, the but it's in the modest, millions. Is it? It's in the millions. It's I not in the millions. I will not say so. No, I won't be uh, ridiculous. No. Okay. All right. Um. So right now. The park has been closed. It's been closed, yes. It's been closed. <laughs> wow, what is happening? So it's been closed. Who? What's what's happening there? You know, the, the, the tenants are fearful of uh, Mr. Kwashi's revenge. But as I've told you, yesterday, I personally went to that park, you know, and the way you talk to boys, 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 a boy pulls out marijuana, cannabis. And you are telling me you cannot gather evidence. Look, it's, there, there, is, there is illegal activity going on in that place. And he's claiming to claim that property. If, so, the, so the illegal activities you are talking about, are they linked to... They don't linked to Chef Ghana, no. To that place. To that place on its own. To that place on its own. How can you, mean, you have... You mean the community? Mm, the, the, the community is not linked with that at all. Chef Ghana is a legal entity that's operating illegally in that place. Okay. They are not harboring any homosexuals or doing anything like that. You know, I understand that they, um, they hosted Harris, okay? Yes, the and vice now, president you know, was there. In Ghana, we have our own policies. We have our own cultures. I am not against LGBTQ, but America has no right to send somebody, an missionary, to come to Ghana, to tell our people to, to abide by American policies, policies of LGBTQ. Mm -hmm. In America, kids are killing people in school. The jails are filled with black people. Why can't you talk about that thing? Why can she not talk about that thing? Mm. When she comes to Africa to lecture us about LGBT. So, so you disagree that the fact that the U.S. Vice President mm. visited this mm. particular venue when she came to Ghana? Not, the, no, not this particular venue, but the fact that she came here to talk with Mr. Adu about human rights, but, but including was, LGBT. Was, was Kamala not at your? She was. She, she was, was there. She was. Yeah. Okay. She so, was. so that's what I'm trying mm. to ask. Yeah. So you are actually disputing the fact that. Because she visited there, mm. then there could be any true links to the fact that the place could be used for... No, you see, um, Kamala Harris, you know, Americans they just try to go to places that are, you know, upbeat, you know, that, that are new and hip in town. South Ghana did miracles and it was the first skate park in Ghana. Mm. 
and it's owned by a very strong lady and you know she represents a, a strong female community in Ghana so she probably thought that would be a right place for her to visit and, you know there are various artists American artists who have also visited that property so in her right mind in my right mind I will visit Sev Ghana as well you know okay I will visit Sev Ghana as well but other people in the community have a different opinion about this so as that politician came on television and spoke against Sev Ghana that is a big mistake that's a big mistake inquire gather evidence before you say you are converting homosexual children this is this is ridiculous that's like saying you have, you have to convert the motorbike to a 4x4 mm -hmm. say in this garage today we are we are converting motorbikes to 4x4 bring your children ah like that man is not it's out of his mind Oh. Something good is going on in that property. Okay, they are okay. helping the community. So, so I don't. He's talking about conversion. So, so again, like I, I don't want us to uh, because Saka is not here to actually respond. I was to, not there when he was in my property. Right. I was but not there. We'll, as well. we'll get the right pl platform mm. for <clears throat> both of you. We, we want to just stick to this, but but we'll return. Of I just course, want definitely. us to. I just want us to take a quick mm. break. When we return, we would we'll understand more about this property and then all the details about yeah. it. So this is say it loud on Ghana Web TV. We'll, we'll return shortly. I want you so bad, Alpha Cracker. I want you. I want to say yes, I can't resist. I want you. I want you so bad, Alpha Cracker. Alpha Cracker. goodness rich in milk and butter. In Alpha Cracker. Yummy and deliciously crunchy. But I can't resist you. Alpha Crackers. Simply irresistible. This advert is FD approved. I'm still here with Kwame, who is a property owner here in Accra. That property that has come into the news lately over um, controversies about whether or not it's an LGBTQ plus headquarters or not. Kwame, um, now I want to know what that land mm. looked like. Mm. I'm asking this because the owners of your, of Sef, mm -hmm. uh, Sef, Sef have said that this land was more or less like a bush. Or it was a bush, but a nice bush to be honest too. Nice bush. I just enjoyed that bush. Oh. Okay. So what, 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 what are you using that place for? To be honest, it was a very landscape land there. Mm -hmm. And I have a good friend of mine, uh, Captain Colin Tabaswing, okay. who's an MP here in Ghana. So whenever he, he comes back from his missions, which, which are usually in the bush, he's comfortable there. So we go there and we sit down and we talk. Oh, okay. Yeah, it becomes like a, like a hangout spot. A hangout mm -hmm. spot. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now, um, now the, your tenants who mm -hmm. are actually at the place Yes. Now, they say that when they came in, mm -hmm. they changed the place because, and you make me understand that it's a waterlogged area. Is so, it still? It is not technically a waterlogged area, but what is it is that it's the last plot of the road, okay? Okay. And there's a fence. Mm. So if they are, there was an issue once and the land got flooded. So basically why that happened was because first there was sand. Okay. So the, so the land was permeable. It would absorb the water. But when they built a concrete slab, okay. the water then could now, no longer go down. Okay. So it, it flooded the area. Okay. Yeah. I see. Mm -hmm. Now, you, even though you are not speaking for self, I just want because you you are passionate also about this. Of course, of course. Yes. They're trying. You, you say they are dragging the name of a good um, institution. Mm -hmm. Now, how many children actually come to that place? The skating. Skating park. I cannot give you a rough number. I'm not aware of that. But you've seen a number of children. I've eh? seen a number of children. Yes, yes, and it's a, it's, it's a reasonable. Are, are, you, are you? Do you yourself live in the area? I don't live in the area. I don't live in Ghana. Okay. Yep. Yes. Okay. Mm. So, like you mentioned, you don't. Live. All right. So, but now I I need to just appreciate whether or not this is something that is worrying you only because it's your land or not. What's why? What's the biggest? concern for you now with all of these things that are going on you know what i don't like in this world are opportunists okay you know fella kuti says a politician like ratty they move they move from corner corner past you pass you under under 
passi, passi, <laughs> right, right, passi, passi. Mm. First, first, you become a photojournalist. That's what this man is doing. He has seen an opportunity to come and talk about something that he represents Islam. You do not represent Islam. I'm a Muslim man. You don't tell me that you can come to a property and say, though, these people represent LGBTQ. Do you even know what LGBTQ stands for? How can you say we are converting children into homosexuality? You cannot convert a child into homosexuality. To homosexuality, he needs to be, to be, to be um, in touch or in contact with something or something in his lifestyle that mm -hmm. changed him and made him so. But it's not a conversion. It's not skating that turns a child into homosexuality. That's a very uneducated statement. Mm. And being a politician, you have to revise your statements. You need to go back home. You need to write it down. You need to know what you are saying on public media. But you know. He speaks for his crowd. Mm. He speaks for his crowd. Mm. As they say, they write big English for newspaper that are really Africans. <laughs> they use English that we don't understand. And, uh, be, 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 be. and we say, hey, that's a big man talking. Let, let me just get your, mm. your, your views on this. There, there's also a bigger conversation around a supposed cabal that mm. goes around to claim lands. Mm. Is this something? Because you mentioned this Mr. Kwashi who for the larger part of our conversation mm. is, is not someone you say you've met, you don't know the person. No. It's just a name. Maria's told me he's come there before. So the person has come there yeah. before? Yeah, he's told me he's come there before. When you, mother you, was you alive. speak with the person on phone? When, he, when my mother was alive, he told me he was there. Okay, so that means he the tried person to is someone... He the land, yeah. This, this person is someone you, you are in touch with? Yes, I spoke to him on the phone. Okay. Yeah. All right. But, but, but do you agree that there's a cabal that goes around prime locations and... Accra, yes. to be specific, yes. to actually claim or reclaim people's <laughs> lands. That is uh, that's something that is very um, common in Ghana, I would say. It's not only in Ghana, you can see that in Kumasi. In Kumasi, they equivalent to be Galamse boys. The Galamse boys go around Kumasi looking for a property that is uh, mining gold. Once the gold is mined, pam, they come and take it. Easy, mm. easy, easy peasy, you know? These same guys are here, they, they have nothing to do. They go around the property, go around prime locations, looking for properties that are, you know, abandoned or not taken care of. They look for a loophole in the, in the policies and the regulations. They put their name there and um, how are you going to fight them now? Mm. They, can, they can claim possession of the land. Progressive possession, what can you say? It's, it's my property, why are you prepared? Right? So, so you just really feel like it's people it's, who, who, who want to take over and, and they don't do this through the legitimate processes? Of course not, of course not. There's a, there is a legitimate process, of course. You know, if you have been on a property for over um, 45 years or, 30, or, 20, or a, a long period of time, a dozen of years or so, um, a person um, can actually claim possession of the land. And that's not only in Ghana, that's in, it happens in France as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, now, now let, me, let me just <laughs> zero in the conversation now. Um, there is a way forward. We want to know what, what exactly do you want done now? You tell me about threats you receive. Mm -hmm. No, what the, are those? The, they have received threats. The, the, the people living in that house. Okay. The workers on the side of the land, and that man has threatened them. According to them, of course. I have no full accountability of what I'm saying right now. But according to them, they have been threatened by these workers. So that's why they cannot access the park. Mm. Yeah. So, so, so what's, what's the way forward now? Do you deal with the police, by the way? I've not dealt with the police. I've dealt with the, man, with, with the lawyers because I came late, of course. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I came to, to Ghana, I was in Dubai. Okay. All my papers are located in a different country, so I came last minute to Ghana. And if you're going to meet police in Ghana, and a man has brought papers with him, a Kwashi boy, mm -hmm. he has brought papers with him, he has definitely done a lot more to secure his back. So until my, my lawyer was ready, that's the only time I can meet. That is the only time that I can meet. And I said, Monday is Monday. I'm, I am from this country. Mm -hmm. On this date, I will meet you on Monday, simple and short. The guy tried to gain my attention by doing something silly on the land as well, again. By pouring sand, by, by mm -hmm. continuing construction. So, he just, he just pushing my buttons, you know? Mm -hmm. But he has my attention now, definitely. So, so, so what are you going to do now to help, help this? Because I know that there's an, there's an appeal online mm -hmm. from Safe Ghana mm -hmm. to actually ensure that this land gets back into their hands and they're able to do what it is that they initially said. There's up. an appeal. 
Well, How I, do you mean an appeal? Well, the owners have actually called for help mm -hmm. from whichever quarters that mm -hmm. they can get to be mm -hmm. able to ensure that they reclaim the land. Okay. So, 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 I, what's what's going to be the way forward for you? you did see, you want anything done from anyone at all? Did I anything want? Did I, did I anything done for somebody? Mm. To be honest, um, there's nothing specific that can be done. The public cannot really do anything in this case. Okay. This uh, has happened countless times, many times before in the past. Uh, if it's your land, it's your land. You cannot come and take me out of my land because you have the public or because I brought boys from Nima. That's not going to change it. It's my property, it's my property. At the end of the day, it's as simple as that. I'm a fourth generation Ghanaian, a proud Ghanaian. So you want to come to my land and take it, there'll be consequences, of course. There'll be consequences. All right, Kwame. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for your time. I know this was a yeah. short notice. I know but, the one. It was but, but I'm something. glad that you, you agreed to come speak with us. Thank you. So Thank you very much. It was a pleasure. This, this has been said loud. Uh, we just spoke with Kwame. Kwame is the landowner of uh, what we know as the skating park around Shiashi, which recently came into the news over concerns that the place had been closed down. Now he's given us better and deeper understanding into what the situation is. My name is Eche Atisu. Thank you for joining us. Until another time, be kind to one another.